Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Magda and today we're going to talk about application for Roth position at European Investment Bank here in Luxembourg. So let's get started. So a few months ago I did a video about traineeship application to European Investment Bank in Luxembourg or all over the world, but mostly it's easier to get to Luxembourg. And many of you asked me either in comments or on Instagram about graduate position, which is a entry level junior position in European Investment Bank. So as I mentioned already, it's much easier to get to Luxembourg than anywhere else in the world. So if you want to come to European Investment Bank, I much recommend you to apply here. Graduate positions, they are junior positions, which are, I would say, not as easy to get as you may think. They are very limited. And I can tell you, me, I was a trainee and I didn't manage to get a graduate position. Even if I applied, it was not in my division, which make it a little bit more difficult. However, I didn't get it and they got a person who just had more experience than me because graduate position is either for recent graduates or for people who have experience up to two years. So if you have professional experience up to two years, this is the position you can apply for. And yeah, how to do it. So first of all, find a position. So you go to the website of EIB, you look for the position, graduate position that interests you and you check what requirements and have and how many are fitting you. If they are fitting you, you do your application, you upload your CV, your motivation letter, you do all the application where they ask you about the languages, you know, skills, where you studied, what is your professional experience and everything. So after you fill it in, you should not expect the answer before the deadline. Honestly, I know that many people may expect us in a private sector that they're going to be called after a few days. Normally at EIB, they don't really call people before the deadline. After the deadline, they kind of bring all the applications and they choose who they want to ask for the pre-recorded interview. And this is the first real, let's say, selection that you get. So you are selected, I think, both by HR and the, uh, your team. And then you have the pre-recorded interviews that are a few questions, I think around six. And you have two minutes to answer them. They can be either technical questions or behavioral questions or question about the bank. So be prepared to be able to say, what is European Investment Bank? Even to say stupid things like, what are green bonds, sustainable finance? Why are you applying for the position? What are your expectations? What did you study? Tell me about yourself. Any type of this question or very technical questions. So you can get very technical question to your position. You may be asked about different financial instruments or I don't know, if you apply to the law department, you may be asked about some specific law. So be prepared that you may get very wide range of questions that may be very easy or very difficult. And in the same time, they may be very basic questions like what is a bond up to the questions for a very, very specific topic of your position. So what I did is you just get prepared from what is in the job description and what is the title of the position. So I don't know, I applied for the risk management. So there was a lot about stress testing, different risk methodologies. I think there was also stuff mentioned about Basel and all the risk management regulations. So be just prepared. And also don't be afraid to say you don't know something, because if you don't know, it's better to say, I don't know, than make up something that may be totally horrible and like, you know, wrong. I think it's better to say that, sorry, I don't know. I never learned about it. Like I'm more than happy to learn. Could you please help me with the answer or something like this? Obviously on the pre-recorded interview, it's impossible, but on the normal interview, I would say this is much better approach than pretending, you know, the answer. So yeah, if you went through the pre-recorded interviews, they chose you, you get to the point where you have to do two tests that are numerical and verbal, at least that's how they were a few, few months ago. Then you get also like kind of psychological tests if you are a good fit to the bank. But I would say these ones, unless you say you're a crazy person and lazy and don't want to work, I think this one don't really like affect your application that much. The verbal and numerical, you always have to pass its pass or fail test. And I'm pretty sure you do it with a person watching you if you are not cheating. So be prepared that that's going to be with con like on a connection with someone on Zoom or Teams or whatever other Skype they choose. So be aware of that. And then you will also have professional tests. And that's actually the part that is quite difficult, I would say, because the professional tests kind of look like a exam from school. You may get multiple choice questions, you can get true, false, and you can get an open question, or even you may be given also an Excel file where you have to compute some stuff. and it can be difficult because if you don't have any experience like I did, sometimes I was afraid, like I was not sure what they are asking me for 
because it was more job related than what we've done at university. So for me, it was a little bit more difficult. For you, it could have been easier because maybe they ex they used exact the same wording at your university. For me, that was surprising. I also had some type of a screenshot from Bloomberg and I honestly saw Bloomberg three times, my colleague using it at the office. So, you know, retrieving the information from Bloomberg for me at that time was not easy. Today, I work every day with Bloomberg, so it would be much easier for me. But yeah, they, they are totally different questions. You may not even see Bloomberg, you may not even see Excel file. It all depends because each team prepared their own professional test. But trust me, they are not the easiest and you get points. And I don't know exactly how they choose people, but it's not a pass or fail. It's more like how much points you get. And you also see us on the exam at university, you also see which question is for how many points, but expect it. I think it was taking like two hours for this test. It's quite long and you will be supervised by someone as well. So be aware of that. And then if you pass all that, or if you had a situation like me that you had it all at the same day, you don't even know if you pass the test to, to go to the interview. I don't know why my interviews were very like squeezed together. So I had numerical, verbal, this professional test and interview on the same day. So I spent literally four hours in front of my computer to do my interview. But I know that other people had the tests on another day and the professional exam test as well. Then they passed to the interview. But if you already passed to the interview, trust me, you are like chosen one in a way you're in a small group. I don't know if it's five or 10 people, but you're not between 40 people. They don't interview that many people in EIB. So be sure that you will be very, very prepared for the interview. And on the interview, at least to European Investment Bank in Luxembourg, you will be having interview with HR and with your team. In my case, it was HR and head of unit plus two senior colleagues, but you may get any mix of anybody. And I'm pretty sure if nothing happens with HR or the team, you will have it all together. I think sometimes if something happens, I don't know, someone is sick or they are not in Luxembourg, you will get divided interviews, but normally they are together. And what happened to me, they will also explain it to you during the interview, and I'm pretty sure they will send it in the email as well. You will be having behavioral questions and technical questions. So in my case, I think each member of the team asked me one or two questions for the technical questions, and then the HR asked me a few behavioral questions in between the technical questions. So you can make it a little bit more conversational, but also it may be very you know, question, answer, question, answer. So it depends on you. What I recommend both on a pre-recorded interview and the final interview with the real people to be smiley, open-minded, you know, do some small talk, break some eyes and, you know, thank them obviously for their time, you know, just be very respectful as well. I would say as in any interview, but don't be stressed. As I said earlier, don't be afraid of saying, sorry, I don't know, I'm not experienced. I just came out of university because they know it anyways from your CV. In the end, it will all depend who is the other candidate, who will be picked. It's much more complex than you may think. It's not just your interview, it's many different levels. So it can also be how well you fit the team, or what is your knowledge or what is your experience or how many times you said or you proved that you are quick learning or you want to learn stuff. In my opinion, this is very important to highlight on the interviews that you want to learn new things, that you are very open-minded, that you are very happy to join the team, that you are interested in this and this topic, that you always wanted to work for European institution, that you are involved in sustainable finance or whatsoever. This is a very big topic in EIB. So be sure that if you apply to Luxembourg, you will mention these things. They will really appreciate it. And I hope they're going to be true for you. I hope that it's not going to be just, oh, I'm very interested in sustainable finance, but you don't even know what is a green bond. And you don't know that it was issued in European Investment Bank in Luxembourg. And I actually know the guy who issued it. So, so yeah, just be sure that you say the truth, that you know about the bank, that you do your research, that you prepare for your interview. And as I said, take the job post. Ah, actually, the job post, they will disappear year after the deadline. So be sure that you copy it to the Word or any other note place where you're going to be able to always go back to it because you will not see a job post after the deadline. So you will be able to be prepared for the interview much better. So you will see what are the requirements, what do they want, what programs they want you to know, or what type of testings or I don't know what they specialize in. 
so you're gonna be able to be prepared for the interview. Now, very important part, after the interview, be prepared to wait for a few weeks or even months. It's not a quick process. Trust me, it takes so long in EIB in Luxembourg to do so many paperwork. So be prepared that you're gonna wait for months, like may maybe not months, but don't expect less than a month to be contacted by them. And if you will be contacted and you're gonna be a person who they accepted, expect, I know that now they increased it. It used to be 3000 euro. Now it's a little bit above, I think 3,300 or something like this. The salaries at EIB are public, so you can always check it out in a website of European Investment Bank. And yeah, in Luxembourg, it's above 3,000 euro. It used to be 3,000, as I said earlier, but I've heard from my friends that they increased lately because of inflation and everything. However, this is going to be your salary for this whole contract. You will not get any raise. You will not get any extra money, bonuses or anything. That's how EIB works. So this is going to be your salary point. End of story. And yeah, you're going to get a contract between one year to two years. At least this is the usual one. So it's going to be one year, one and a half or two years. And you need three years to become an officer, which is a next level in EIB, which is also worth mentioning because many people are not aware of it. So they don't know that they need at least three years of experience as a junior in a professional environment, banking environment, to be an officer. So if it's your entry-level job, you see a one-year position, you will be probably extended. You never know because your contract in the end is fixed, but it's very usual in European institutions that the contracts are fixed. So yeah, so don't be surprised. And you will also see on the job post how long is the contract. So yeah, as I said, most of the people get extended. It all depends on the budget, it all depends how you perform and what your team is doing. But to be an officer, you need three years. So this is kind of an obstacle, I would say, no raise in your salary and not being able to, you know, have the three year contract from the beginning is kind of an obstacle, but I think it's very worth it. I think European Investment Bank, mostly in Luxembourg, brings young people who are very smart, very ambitious, who want to learn, and they are kind of like, you know, not the best, but like very, very good people. They are chosen ones, so there are no random people here. So yeah, so if you're gonna get chosen, huge congrats to you. It's, it's very, very good for you. You will learn a lot of things. And if you really like this type of topics that you can find for a job in European Investment Bank, you will enjoy it. Life in Luxembourg, you can watch my other videos about it. But yeah, this is it, I would say. I think I involve everything. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, I would be very happy if you would hit the like button. That helps me with the YouTube algorithm so this video will reach more people. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel. I talk a lot about studying abroad, my life abroad, currently in Luxembourg and traveling. So if you enjoyed this type of topics and you don't want to miss any of my future videos, subscribe to my channel. And here I leave you the video about 10 reasons to move to Luxembourg and the Luxembourgish playlist. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you in another video.